pelvic inflammatory disease is an reproductive health issue look at this picture shows that uterus fallopian tubes then ultrasound findings look at this picture and mri findings detail going on introduction pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection of the female reproductive organs including the uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries it is a serious condition that can lead to long term complications if not treated properly definition pid is defined as an infection induced inflammation of the female upper genital tract including the endometrium fallopian tubes and contiguous pelvic structures types pid can be classified based on the severity and extent of the infection one acute pid rapid onset with severe symptoms two chronic pid long standing inflammation with milder symptoms 3 subclinical pid mild symptoms that may also unnoted but cause long term damage causes the primary cause of pid is the ascent of bacteria from the lower genital tract to the upper genital tract common causative agents include one sexual transmitted infections stis neisseria gonorrhea and chlamydia trachomatis are the most common to other bacteria mycoplasma genitalium anorebis Cordonella vaginalis and other endric pathogens risk factors multiple sexual partners to unprotected sex 3 previous pid or stis 4 young age especially under 25 5 douching 6 recent gynecologic procedures such as iud instruction or abortion complications one chronic pelvic pain to infertility due to damage to the fallopian tubes 3 ectopic pregnancy increased risk due to tubal scarring 
for abscess formation tubo ovarian abscess 5 fits her roots syndrome perihepatitis associated with pid pathophysiology assessment of bacteria from the cervix or vagina to the endometrium fallopian tubes and adjacent structures steps in pathophysiology one introduction of pathogenesis to ascent of infection three inflammatory response four tissue damage five formation of scar tissue and adhesions six abscess formation seven spread to adjacent structures eight long term complications signs and symptoms one lower abdominal pain the most common symptom to abnormal vaginal discharge three fever and chillness four painful intercourse five painful urination six irregular menstrual bleeding diagnosis one clinical assessment pelvic exam to check for tenderness cervical motion tenderness and adenoxal tenderness to laboratory test elevated wbc count esr crp and testing for stis 3 imaging ultrasound or mri may show thickened tubes or abscess 4 laparoscopy direct visualization in unclear cases nursing diagnosis one acute pain related to inflammatory process to risk for infection related to disease process 3 deficient knowledge regarding the disease process and preventive measures for anxiety related to diagnosis and potential complications management one antibiotic therapy broad spectrum antibiotic targeting likely pathogenesis to pain management analgesics for pain relief three rest and hydration for patient education importance of medication adherence safe sexual practices and follow up care treatment one empirical antibiotics typically include cephalosporins and doxycycline with other without metinodazole to hospitalization for severe cases non responsive to outpatient therapy or in pregnant patients three surgical intervention for abscess drainage or in case of ruptured abscess psychosocial medicine one supportive counseling addressing emotional and psychological impact to support groups providing a 
platform for sharing experiences and coping strategies. Three, education on impact of PID on reproductive health and lifestyle. Modifications. Prevention on safe sexual practices use condoms limiting the number of sexual partners to regular STI screening especially in high risk populations. 3. Prompt treatment of any STIs. 4. Avoid dosing to maintain the natural flora of the vagina. In conclusion, PID is a significant reproductive health issue with potential for serious complications. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are essential to prevent long-term sequel. Education on prevention and safe sexual practices is vital in reducing the incidence of PID. Thank you. Have a nice day.